And then of course when I'm watching my cameras and I see people parking my bays and I can see right through their windshield exactly what they're doing, illegal substances, I get on the phone, I call the cops. G'day viewers, it's Chris Atkins here and welcome back to my channel, The Car Wash Chronicles. As you've all probably seen in my previous videos, I talk about how amazing the self-serve car wash business can be, how much free time it can give you once set up correctly, and how much money you can collect every week so that you can live the lifestyle that you want to live on your own terms, be your own boss, run it the way you want to run it, and essentially sail off into the sunset. But today in this video, I'm going to go over some of the cons. Like in all businesses, they have the good and the bad. Well, I'm going to go over some of the cons of owning a self-serve car wash. I've had a lot of questions about people asking what are the cons of owning a self-serve car wash. And I had to think about it because really on my list, there's not that many cons besides some of the annoying minor day-to-day -day stuff. But in the bigger picture, there's no cons that will deter me away from wanting to get into the business. But that's just me. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there watching that don't want to deal with the negative and the cons of owning a self-serve car wash business that I'm going to go over for you right now. So I would probably say the first con of owning a self-serve car wash business, and there can be ways around this, but I would say it's very difficult to go away for probably more than two weeks and even still you have to set it up to get away with those two weeks pretty good for example i go to my car washes twice a week and i obviously refill the hoppers for the bill changer i sweep up and clean up and make sure it looks nice i test everything make sure it works and of course collect the cash and bring it home so if someone breaks in there's really not much cash for them to take but say i want to go on a holiday overseas to australia or anywhere overseas it doesn't matter where or not even overseas just somewhere domestically, um, you know, it would be kind of hard to go and leave the business for more than two weeks unless you have a solid person working for you that you trust who can collect all the tokens, collect all the quarters, count them, replenish them, and collect all the cash. So that's a pretty big deal. Preferably, it would be great to have a family member, but if not, just someone who's working for you for a long time and someone you really know is a good person at heart. And you can t generally tell from your gut feeling because my gut talks to me a lot. I hear it all the time. So that's probably one of the biggest cons for me. It's hard to go away on a holiday for two weeks or even longer. Say you want to go around the world and you want to be gone for a month or two. It's going to be very difficult unless you really trust that person because no one's going to care about your business as much as you do. So really the only way around this is to find someone you trust who knows what they're doing, knows how to fix things and take care of the car wash, replenish the tokens in the hoppers, take the cash, take it home and keep it safe. So when you come back on holiday, they'll hand you a big pile of cash and say, here, go pay all your bills and your living expenses. So I would say the next con of owning a self-serve car wash is having to deal with thieves, the homeless, and people dealing with illegal substance. Now let me break that down each category for you. Obviously thieves is self-explanatory. They try and break into the motor room. They try and break into vacuums or they just simply cut hoses, put graffiti on the walls. You know, all of that stuff is annoying. No one wants to go through that stuff. Yes, it's part of owning a self-serve car wash business. You will have to kick people off your property. I've asked many people doing things on my property that I don't want to do. What are you guys doing? It's a car wash, get out of here. Get off my property, why do it on camera? I see you, why not go in the side street where there's no cameras and no one can see you? I just don't understand that mentality. But for some reason they like to do it at the self-serve car wash. So I tell them to get out of there straight away. Hey guys, don't do that here, get off my property. And then of course, every time there's thieves that try and cut a hose or steal a brush or try and break into a vacuum or cut the locks, that's an expense to you. You're gonna have to replace the lock, replace the hose. It's not the biggest deal. It might only be $20, $30 damage. It's more or less just the annoyingness of it. Is that a word, annoyingness? If it's not, it is now, annoyingness, use it. And then of course, when I'm watching my cameras and I see people parking my bays and I can see right through their windshield exactly what they're doing, illegal substances, I get on the phone, I call the cops and the cops show up and they arrest them. It's as simple as that. Do not do illegal substances on camera, I'm watching. So yes, I would put that on the con list because it's very annoying for me to deal with all that kind of stuff, but it's all part of the business. And then another con of owning a self-serve business, it's not really a con, it's just part of running a business. It's dealing with trash. You gotta sweep up the trash, you gotta empty the trash bins, and it's very frustrating when you see people vacuuming their car and they just throw all of their trash on the ground. They don't even care. And there's a trash bin literally two to three feet away, like an arm's length. And they're so lazy and disrespectful. They can't even just reach over and do that. They just throw it on the floor. Bottles, crumbs, everything. So that's annoying. As much as I love most of my customers, I would rather them go do that at the car wash down the street because I don't need their couple of bucks that bad. So most of the time I'll go up and just ask them, hey guys, there's a trash bin right there. I'm not really sure how to get it any closer to your car, but that's as close as I can get it. Would you mind just putting the trash in 
Again, it's not really a con, but I wouldn't do it for free, so I guess I would put it on the con list. And then another con of owning self-serve car washes is it's very weather dependent. Let's say, for example, you have a whole week of sunshine, 80 degrees, and sunny. You're going to have a pretty good week. The weather doesn't get much better than that. If it's 110, it's too hot. People probably don't want to go outside to wash their car. If it's 40 degrees and raining, obviously people aren't going to want to go to the car wash. But I would say between 80 and 90 degrees, nice and sunny, no wind, that's probably the perfect ideal car washing weather. So whenever I check the weather for the week on my phone and I see all sunshine, I'm good. But if I check it and it shows rain for five days, I know I'm not really going to make any money for that week. So I would put that on the con list. The car wash business is very weather dependent. And that's why it's kind of hard when I get people on the East Coast to ask me about self-serve car washes and what they make because I haven't experienced car washes in the snow or that kind of weather. It's very different to California. California, we have probably two bad months out of the 12 months of weather. 10 months is pretty much sunshine and pretty good car washing weather. Whereas, you know, let's say Chicago, for instance, it might have snow for six months out of the year. And I have heard that car washes do pretty good in the snow because the snow obviously makes your car dirty. So people want to clean them. So they'll go to the car wash and whatnot. So that could be a good thing. But in comparison to a nice warm sunny day, I would choose a nice warm sunny day over snow any day. So again, a con of owning car washes is it's very weather dependent. Compared to California to let's say Oregon, I've never been there, but I've heard it rains a lot. Anyone from Oregon watching, let me know what the weather's like. Does it rain a lot up there? Probably. So in that case, might not be the best state to own a car wash, but I would put that on the con list. Very weather dependent. And I've been trying to rack my brain for more cons of owning car washes, and there's really not many more. I mean, the last one I could probably think of is just damages. You know, hoses getting pulled down, booms getting pulled down because people are driving off and they're caught on the boom and it just rips it down. They don't understand that they're caught on the hose. <sighs> But again, not the biggest deal. It might only be a $30 fix or a boom might be at max $200 fix. So it's not that big of a deal. It's all part of doing business and it might only happen once every three months. But for the sake of doing this video all about the cons, that's really all I can think of. I mean, please comment and let me know what other cons of the self-serve car wash business there are. Whether you're an owner of a car wash or whether you're just a customer at a car wash. You know, what could be a con of owning a self-serve car wash? That's what I came up with. That's my answers. Please comment and let me know your thoughts. Of course, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate each and every one. Oh yeah, we just hit 10,000 subscribers. I want to thank each and every one of you. It means the world to me. 10,000, that's a huge milestone. I mean, in comparison to the YouTube world, it's not that big, but it's big to me. So thank you all. I've had a few people tell me that they've actually gone out and found self-serve car washes and they've actually closed on the deals thanks to my videos. So congratulations to all you guys. Keep educating, keep learning. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, my TikTok, Car Wash Chronicles. I am Chris Atkins with the Car Wash Chronicles. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.